Jim Cannon, installer. They come in handy when he climbs poles and getting him to the places where he does his work. The hands also belong to Jim Cannon. He uses them to bring the miracle of telephone communication into people's homes. And this is Jim Cannon's mouth. He uses it to whistle, to eat, and sometimes tries he might to avoid it, to get into trouble. I'm from the telephone company. So I see. I've been waiting since yesterday morning for you to show up. Well, come in. Well, what happened to you yesterday? They told me you'd be out first thing. Well, I don't know what happened yesterday, ma'am. I only got the order this morning. Maybe the fellow they put on it yesterday got something bigger and he just couldn't make it. Well, that's the telephone company for you every time. Take care of the big customers and let the little ones wait. Well, you think they'd at least call a customer who's sitting around waiting for the installer to get here. Now, well, I'm here now, Miss Fuller. Where would you like me to put the extension? Well, didn't they tell you that even? I went into great detail with the lady down there. I told her how I saw in a home magazine where they were installing telephones in California in the kitchen near the sink. And we recently had the kitchen remodeled and I had the contractor put an outlet there for you. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. We can't put the phone there. It's against the rules. Against the rules? Well, that's right. Might get wet. Well, I'm not going to put it in the sink, just alongside it. Well, I know, but it could fall in the sink, or boy, it could get wet with the spray hose. If it works. We well, have to pull the handle. Oh. <laughs> oh sorry, ma'am. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I didn't... Never mind that now. Look, if I can't have the telephone where I want it in my own house, where would the telephone company like to have it? Well, we could uh, put a set over there on the wall, ma'am. It'd, it'd look off the wall. Oh, well, if I can't have it by the sink, I guess that's about all I can do. Oh, well, maybe blue would look all right. Well, we'll just try it there and see. Uh, I'll go out of the truck and see if I've got one. I'll be right back. <laughs> was kind of funny, though. Ah, this isn't going to be. What's she going to say when I tell her I don't have a blue wall set with me? And she's got a tongue like an ice pick. Now, remember, Cannon, hang on to the camera. All oh, sweet. Well, here goes nothing. I'm sorry, Miss Fuller. I didn't have any blue ones in the truck, but I brought a couple in here for you to see. They're our most popular colors, too. You know these new Lord Dunsmore estates, all the fashionable ladies are putting up these red ones there. Don't you think it does something for the kitchen? Young man, when I need an interior decorator, I won't call the telephone company. Now, I said I wanted a blue phone in this kitchen, and I intend to have a blue phone. Now, just whom do I call to get it? Well, I'll call the storeroom, ma'am. Maybe, maybe they've got one down there. Oh, Bob? Cannon. Listen, you've got a blue wall set down there. I got an old gal out here that's got her mind made up on a blue wall set. Huh? No. They don't come in blue? Oh, that's peachy. Wait till I tell her that. Uh, Miss Fuller, uh, Western doesn't make a wall set in blue. Who doesn't make them? Uh, Western Electric. They make the sets we buy. They don't make them in blue. Why? Oh, I don't know, Miss Fuller. They just don't make them in blue. Now, that red one or, or that yellow one look real nice in there in the kitchen. Now, let me tell you something, young man. I don't want a red telephone, and I don't want a yellow telephone. And as far as I'm concerned, you can just forget about the whole thing. As we said, these legs are useful for climbing poles. And when there's no other answer for getting him away from trouble quickly. <laughs>